children have very deep feelings, just the way everybody does. There must be times when you do feel blue. I'm not feeling blue right now, though. Me neither. <laughs> if I wasn't in this chair and Fred was in this chair, how would you describe this documentary to him? How would I describe it? Well, it talks about uh, the things that we shared, Fred, the things that we're proud of that he did, the things that meant a great deal to us that he gave us so generously. Thank you, Fred. I'd let him know gratitude. I would wear the cloak of gratitude. The humble, uh, um, I'd probably give him a hug. This documentary has gone beyond sweaters and sneakers and the trolley. It, it's gone deep. It dwells on Fred's ideas, the ideas that he presented to his, his audience. I think, and I know, Fred would love it. Fred had often said, if anybody had made a film out of his life, it would be the most boring movie of all time. <laughs> so I respectfully disagree. When you're doing a show for young kids, they have no sense of self. They don't know who they're gonna be. Mm -hmm. And so he's kind of telling people, like, this is how you should treat people and how you should treat yourself and how we should live together in a neighborhood. And I feel like reminding ourselves of those very basic ideas, of how we want to live together and how we want to treat each other, those are the things we don't spend enough time reflecting upon. But what I wanted to do from the beginning is not do a biographical documentary in the traditional sense. I wanted to look at his ideas and explore those ideas. And I think he would have appreciated it because I think in his own life, he struggled with being taken seriously mm -hmm. and people mm -hmm. didn't appreciate the depth of what he was doing and I think that's one of the main things I'm trying to do is make people realize what he was doing might have been simple but it was very deep. You can get your tickets to see Won't You Be My Neighbor at amctheaters.com or on our mobile app. A neighborhood was a place where at times that you felt worried, scared, unsafe would take care of you.